So I am on my way. Your destination at 2:27 p.m. I am on my way to Abilene. A baby raccoon has uh, fell through a cross uh, crawl space into a uh, bedroom of someone's house, a child's uh, house. So I told them to shut the door. Um, and we are on our way to go pick up. I'd like to see if it looks healthy or anything. I may need to look around up in the attic for more babies. Maybe I need to see if there's a parent up there. I'm hoping the mama is up in the attic. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do some uh, some snooping around as well. United so, States Highway 277 um, so let's see how this goes. 10 miles. So we just got a phone call on a family of four baby coons. It looks like they've left their nest because uh, something may have happened to mama. I don't know. So it looks like we're about to have five additional raccoons. We've already got 17 babies and two adults. One being a mom, one taking care of the four babies. So we are definitely got our hands full this season. So we got the baby. I couldn't find any more in the attic. I found a cat. <laughs> so they've got animals coming in, but he's uh, a little small to be by itself. So I'm gonna look in these trees and see if there's uh, a nest in these trees. Cause he's pretty healthy. Hey darling. Hey, hey. Yeah, you sweet thing. Yeah, I know you're afraid. Let's go see if I can find your nest. So there is no signs of a nest in this attic. I don't even see uh, poop of any animal, uh, from any animal in her attic. Um, I can't find a nest in the one tree that's next to her house. Uh, I'm not sure where this baby came from, so I'm just not sure. So we're gonna have to unfortunately take it, take it to the rescue. Um, it's too young to be on its own and I have no clue where it came from, so. So we're gonna get back home to the rescue and get this baby situated. So we're back at the rescue. Got our girl situated. Uh, she is a female and she's introducing herself with all of our other coons that we have in quarantine. Um, we do quarantine here for two weeks uh, before um, the babies anyway for two weeks before we consolidate. Um, and that's just in case they got disease. Here's our little girl. She's uh, probably between eight and uh, eight and 10 weeks old, probably closer to 10 weeks actually. Uh, she'll be vaccinated here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we vaccinate all of our baby vector species. Uh, she's very scared right now, um, but she will figure it out and figure that we're here to help her. And, um, and uh, hey, hey sweet girl, we're gonna get you fixed up, yeah, so. So we'll get her vaccinated, fixed up, and then after two weeks, she'll join uh, some coons her age, and uh, Elliot is her age. All right, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit of rest here before we get the four baby raccoons. They are, from what I was told, the size of a Coke can, so they're young. Um, probably the same size as the four that we're bottle feeding right now. So um, we've got four baby raccoons in route as well, so. I'll uh, get a video together for those. Y'all have a great day.